Hello everyone, it's Vic here and today I'm sharing with you a layout using cut files. Now these cut files are from the January release at Pear Tree Cut Files and I'm using the mitten and scarf. So to start with I've cut out the mittens twice and I've done one the way that the cut file was designed and then the other one I have flipped so it's like the reverse of it facing the other way in. So I've just taken them off of my um, my cutting mat there and I I ended up using my tweezers to take out the little fiddly bits between the um, the snowflakes because I couldn't be bothered to go and get my um, my silhouette tool to pop those bits out but um, they came out really really easily and the cut file actually cut really nicely considering it was quite intricate with that snowflake shape in the middle. So my idea behind this layout was to create um, a bit of like a, um, a banner bunting type effect near the top of my page. So I wanted to create a background for my photograph and those cut files to sit on so that they didn't look like they were floating around my page. Um, if you create a background it just helps ground everything nicely for you. So I decided at Christmas time to treat myself to some shimmers paints and I found somewhere in the UK that stocked them and so I decided to take the plunge. I've wanted to try them for a long, long time. And this is only my second time of using them. Um, they are absolutely beautiful. They have so much like shimmer in them really really pretty when they dry now they look quite dark when I'm applying them here but actually once they dry they're a lot lighter so for this I've just used my plain cardstock I've not applied any gesso to my layout before because I'm not adding too much water to my paint so therefore in theory my cardstock shouldn't warp that much um, it did just slightly but nothing that was major so I could flatten it down before um, applying my embellishments and photograph to it. So what I've done is I placed the cut file and my photograph onto the page in the format that I was hoping to place everything and just lightly drew around it with my pencil. You don't want to do it too dark because otherwise your pencil marks will show through um, your mixed media background. And then I've simply applied the shimmers paints to um, a piece of old packaging. So this is called the packaging technique. So I've started with the lighter colours and then built up in the darkness and the depth. So the colours that I've used from the shimmers range are Going Peach Side, Very Licious and High Ho Silver. And they really, really are gorgeous. And I picked those colours because they're quite warm and snuggly and the photograph I've got is of me and my daughter when we went um, to London to go and watch the musical Elf and we had a walk around the area before we went in before the show started to look at all the Christmas lights and I really really love this photograph of me and Isabella we've got our big furry hoods on because it was a bit chilly outside <laughs> it was um, a couple of days before Christmas and I just think we look really, really snugly, like little bugs in a rug. So I thought the colours went quite nicely and the photograph still popped off the page, even though there's quite a lot going on there. So once I'd applied my shimmers paints using the packaging technique, I then just did a few splatters of those colours with my paintbrush around just to add a different sort of texture and effect on the background. So I wasn't sure what collection I wanted to use for this and I had a try with loads of different bits of paper that I had stashed away in my drawers and um, the collection that really sort of linked in with the colours that I'd picked from my background and that Cozy Days title by Bramble Fox um, was the Crepe Paper Snowflake collection. Now I really, really didn't have a lot left of this this was um these papers are like a year old and was from an old design team kit that i had 
and I literally had like a tiny scrap of that pink starry paper left and mainly then just a few stickers and chipboard embellishments. So you can see where I've got like a blue snowflake over those right mittens there. I thought I had enough of that pink paper to back my mittens but I don't know if you can see it there I didn't actually have enough um, I was trying really really carefully to eke it as much as I could with that paper um, but I have had to do a little bit of a patch up job there so it doesn't matter because I'm going to cover it with my title and when the layout's finished you wouldn't even have known so it's just a way to cover up those little bits. If you haven't quite got enough of, of your supplies, you can always cover up those patch up areas with um, your embellishments. So I've backed my mittens and I've only backed part of the scarf because my photograph covers most of it. And I had quite a lot of the um, clear gold snowflake stickers from the collection left. So I decided I'd run with that, seeing as it was like winter time, and the colours went really nicely with uh, with everything and kept the warmth going on the layout that I wanted. Um, so and they work really well actually because you still get little bits of that me mixed media background coming through the clear parts on those stickers. So they they were gorgeous. I'm really pleased with how well they turned out on the layout. So you can see I've popped some twine along the top of the layout now, um, above my cut files, just um, trying to like now bring it all together. Backing my photograph, now I've backed that with, um, I'm not sure where, what collection that paper's from, but I've used a ruler to um, tear along the edge rather than using my scissors. Um, and it just gives a bit more of a softer edge and feel to your papers. Now you can achieve a similar effect by cutting it with scissors and then I'm um, just dressing around the edges with a distressing tool or scissors, the backs of scissors, but I, I decided I wanted a bit a bit softer so that you could um, see the white edges um, of the paper. So that's how I've decided to cut my paper for backing my photograph. And then I've also then put a layer of vellum behind it. Now I've curled the top of that um, grey backing above my photograph and what I'm going to do to hold that um, that twine in place which actually has like a little bit of gold running through it as well so that ties in nicely with the snowflakes and some of my word stickers I'm going to hold that in place with a staple rather than use glue to try and hold it all in place or some um, double-sided tape I thought I would use um, some staples not something that I do very often but for this it's worked really well because it's meant that some of that um, twine isn't adhered or stuck to um, my background cardstock too much and still gives that little bit of freedom of movement on, on my page it doesn't feel quite as static so sticking everything together now now I wasn't quite sure how I was going to um, attach the twine to my cut files but I decided to make them into um, tags so I've just used um, a little tool there to um, make a hole to create a hole for me to um, th thread the twine through and then that just helps bring my photograph and those mittens all together links it together to make it flow a lot more across the top of the page. So Bramble Fox as well, I had this old Cozy Days perspective which I decided was perfect for the title for my layout because we were all snuggly even though it was cold outside. It felt cozy and Christmassy and festive and um, Bramble Fox have just brought out these really nice um, star perspectives as well. And they were the perfect colours, the pale pinks and then the nice sort of darker maroony coloured red to um, to go inside them. And that, and that went really nicely with that um, title. So I've added a few of those onto my layout. You have to remove the um, 
the protective layer first and then I've just stuck them to my page with some cosmic shimmer glue. And you can see to um, just attach the rest of my twine on the top of that layout of the top of the layout there. Instead of sticking it on the back, I've literally just added two staples again. And I don't think they stand out um, and look out of place. I think that's it's quite a good way of adhering something like that to your layouts. And I think I'll do that again. So I've backed the cut file with some lighter pink paper just because I felt it was getting a little bit lost. It was a bit dark against that darker pink of, that I backed the cut file mittens with. So that just helps that pop off my layout. Now there we go, I'm just sticking down those gorgeous Bramble Fox stars. I was so pleased how this, this layout turned out because when I first <laughs> put all my shimmers on the background I was like, oh that's a bit dark and I don't tend to do very many pinky ready layouts. So I was a bit worried, but um, with all mixed media, it always looks a bit like a hot mess to start with. But once you start to cover things up with your photograph and embellishments, um, it hides a multitude of sins. And it just like, as you can see, it just creates that edge around everything to help ground it all onto my layout. So it was then really just a case of adding my journaling, which I've done, and my date to my layout. I wasn't quite sure where to put that but I ended up putting that near the title and then I decided that I would go a bit further with embellishing these um, these cut file mittens. I just wanted them to pop off the page a bit more and add a bit more texture so I've got some very very small pom-pom trim. I think it's only like two millimeters maybe um, for the pom-pom bits and they look super cute. I was really pleased with those. I thought they looked really, really pretty on the mittens and helped to bring them to life and um, bring them out from the background a little bit more and add to that coziness as well. And I've also added some really lovely sequin mixes um, from, I think her name's Lucy Abraham. She's done some really pretty sequins and embellishments for pages so I just added that for a little bit of sparkle so thank you very much for watching I hope it's inspired you to use your files in a different way on your layouts and making them into a feature like tags like I have here please give it a thumbs up if you've liked my video and subscribe and thank you for um, dropping by happy scrapping bye